Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another mystery box unboxing for you. And this time we got our mystery box from Vaulted. And Vaulted is actually a site that sells a ton of stuff, not only Funko Pops, but also like other collectibles. But I saw that they actually had a mystery box that they put out and I think they actually put out another one shortly after I think is up right now so if it hasn't already sold out by the time you're seeing this video you can go and check that out vaulted.com it's vltd.com you can check that out but this mystery box we got from them was actually just $12 mystery box and it was a chance to some pretty cool stuff and they did send me a coupon for 15% off so I was like hey why not try it out maybe see if I can get a pretty good pop uh, but I have absolutely no idea what's in here outside of the top hits. So I'll go ahead and throw it up on the screen right here. Some of the top hits are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NFT Pops. Uh, they also have a Galactus Chase, a Blacklight, which I already have, a Sasuke Chase, and then a couple other things that in there as well that would be pretty cool to get. I think for the most part, it's pretty much a mystery, which of course is cool going into these mystery boxes. So it could be anything. Most likely, we will get a comment. But hey, you never know what we might be able to pull. And so I ended up picking up four of the mystery boxes. I think it was like a limit of six. So I ended up picking up four because they're only 12 bucks each. So hey, why not test this out and uh, see what we can get. So I'll go ahead and crack this open here and see what we can find inside. But of course, before we do that, if I could just ask you guys, if you haven't already, go down below, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 2000 subscribers, so we can't that go without your help. So if you are new, consider subscribing and also go ahead and leave a like on the video as well if you enjoy it. Hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos. So let's go ahead and open this box up here. And there should be another four boxes inside for us to see what we can get for our mystery grill hunt. And I doubt it's going to actually be grails in here. You know, I'm expecting it. I mean, if we get like a $20, $30 pop, that would be awesome. But I have absolutely no idea what's going to be in here. Now, I think one of the things, of course, like I already mentioned, was the Chase Galactus Blacklight. I assume that's not going to be in here uh, unless they have some sort of redemption thing. And then, of course, they also had the six pack of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sodas. So these are those are definitely not in here for the size of this box. But I absolutely, absolutely have no idea what is going to be in here. But it looks like they do have a pack pretty well. And it looks like they are in individual sorter boxes. And so it feels like there's probably pops in here. So likely those two big ones are not in here. So if you want to see, looks like they do have a little sticker on the front that says Vaulted VLTD. So here we go, box number one for our Vaulted Mystery Box. And look, this one's kind of tight. There we go. And that's going to be open in three, two, one. We have, what do we have? We have, oh, look at this. This is the Mandalorian entertainment earth exclusive glow in the dark man and this one is an awesome pop i've not gotten this yet but i am super happy with picking this one up this was definitely one that was on my radar for sure but i did not pick it up because of entertainment earth so this is a great looking pop this is actually like a holographic glow in the dark one this is awesome and it does come with a pop shield protector which is clutch as well thanks so much vaulted yeah this is a great looking pop I absolutely love it. That blue is really cool looking. I do definitely want to test this out at some point to try out that glow because that is definitely a sick looking pop. Definitely a great hit on box number one. But it is a little bit of a newer pop, so I'm not quite sure what the value is going to be on that. Might be a little bit skewed, but definitely still a really cool pop. But here we have a box number two, and if it could be something good like that or better, that would be sick but let's see if what we can do with box number two and that's going to be in three two one and it is i don't know is it upside down or not it was upside down so there it is and it's actually going to be duke silver from parks and rec so i actually do not have this pop so it is pretty cool to see really funny part uh, of the parks and rec show of course, it's going to be Ron Swanson's, like, alter ego, Duke Silver. He is really cool looking with the saxophone, standing in front of the microphone. I do like how they added the mic in there as well. He does look great, but although with this Parks and Rec set, uh, I think the only ones that I've gotten was Hunter Ron, I think is the only one that I picked up from there. And then I picked up Philip Buster Leslie 
from FunCon last year, but that is it. Still a pretty cool one. I might keep this in the collection, I'm not sure, but it looks like this one came with a vaulted vinyl protector, so they're mixing up their protectors a little bit, but hey, definitely worth it to try to get that protector, and I assume this pop is probably going to be worth right around the cost of the box. Now let's go on to box number three and check this one out. Now let's go on to box number three and let's check this one out. And we have it three, two, one. And this one is a good. It is Cobb Vanth from Star Wars. Too bad I actually already have this one. I even have the chase for it still a really awesome looking pop here just again too bad i already have it but this is a great character that i love seeing in the mandalorian and then of course also showing up in the book of boba fett timothy oliphant is amazing uh but this is definitely a really cool pop with the boba fett armor on really nice one but again too bad i already have it and since i do have it i'm pretty sure that the value is right around that 12 13 dollar range so it's probably not going to do anything too crazy as far as values go but now it's time for box number four hopefully we can end up with a little bit of a better hit because so far the only one that i know is overvalue was going to be the mandalorian and we might end up coming out of here with just about what we paid for but hopefully this last one boosts us up a little bit further than that and now we're ready for box number four in three two one and there we go all right guys is it good let's see it is oh this one's pretty cool so this is the new entertainment earth exclusive poison spider-man and i do know that this one does come with the chase of course it's not the chase but this one is really sick and really good condition of course coming with that protector as well to keep that minty uh, and this one's definitely a really sick figure. You see Spider-Man there. He's kind of jumping with the poison symbiote coming out from his chest. That really does look cool. I love the white suit there. So this is definitely a sick pop. Entertainment Earth exclusive, as you see here by the sticker. So definitely one that I thought about adding to the collection. So this one's definitely going to be doing well in my Marvel slash Venom collection. So I'm definitely happy with picking up that one. So, you know, two of four pops that I really wanted, you know, is not bad at all. So, I think I'm definitely happy with our haul so far as far as the pops that I want to keep. And I'm not quite sure what the value is going to look like on that Poison Spider-Man. Again, since it's a little bit newer, it could be a little bit weird. But let's go ahead and jump to Pop Price Guide and check out the values. And we'll be back in a second to recap them. And we're back with the values. And uh, this ended up being a little bit higher than what I first thought. So, good news there we did end up coming above value which was awesome so let's go down the line here and uh let you know where each one falls in terms of value on ppg so the first one here was going to be the entertainment earth exclusive holographic glow in the dark mandalorian this one's gonna be valued up at 21 dollars so about nine dollars above where we actually paid for the box so really cool plus it's a pop that i definitely really wanted to grab so that is a win in my book. The second one here is going to be Duke Silver from Parks and Recreation. This is the one that I figured would be the least valuable, and it is. So this one's going to be valued just at $10. So that box was a little bit of a fail, being a couple bucks below what we paid for. The next one that we have was Cobb Vanth from The Mandalorian. And this Cobb Vanth is going to be valued up at $15. So just around what we paid for it but just a couple dollars above so that kind of offsets duke silver a little bit and then our final pop which is going to be this entertainment earth poison spider-man which is really cool this one is actually going to be valued up at 28 dollars so that is a great hit the biggest hit of our box so far nothing completely crazy but the fact that it's more than double than what we paid for the box does end up being really great so overall combined with these four we end up getting a value of 74 dollars and when you include shipping and taxes and everything we paid 60 dollars for these boxes so we ended up going 14 dollars above the value which ended up being pretty good and again we got a couple pops out of it that i needed for my collection so that's just a win all around and really when you look at it for these two pops if i bought them off at entertainment earth 
it would have been fifteen dollars plus shipping and you know their shipping is like seven dollars for each item for some reason i would have had to pay like twenty two dollars for each of these items end up getting it for 12 bucks so hey we ended up saving some money and we got some pop that we wanted at the end of the day so i do really like our haul nothing really earth shattering or anything like that no mega grail but a couple pops i'm definitely happy that we were add to the collection but i do want to hear from you guys what do you think about our mystery boxes that we got from vaulted have you guys heard of vaulted have you picked up anything from there whether it's buying a, a single pop or a mystery box uh let me know what your thoughts are on them and also what your thoughts are on this mystery box and our polls in the comments down below and of course if you guys can also make sure you hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button to help us get to 2,000 subscribers and of course hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos so thank you guys so much for watching today and as always we'll see you again real soon